I want my accessories to scream, she's a witch! And I love that about her. Hello my celestial friends, I'm Echo the Saving Sorceress and today I wanted to share with you my dream witchy thrift haul of accessories. So honestly, accessories make the outfit. I think we all know this. You can't go wrong with adding a bit of sparkle or a bit of color or just something special to an outfit. I mean, I love the clothes that I've acquired. I've done multiple thrift hauls already and you've seen those. Those are now some of my favorite clothes. I'm literally wearing something from, I believe, my very first thrift haul on this channel and it's just one of my favorite shirts. So let's add the missing pieces, the final touches, the accessories. <sighs> also, I've acquired some accessories recently through some means which I will talk about later. And so, you know, honestly, I just wanted to share them. They are gorgeous and incredible. And let's get started. The first piece is Probably, honestly, my favorite of the whole bunch. I should have saved it for last, but I couldn't wait. It's just the most beautiful barrette I've ever seen. I found it on Depop, and it spoke to me in a way that no other barrette really has. It is just so fanciful, and fairy-like. It's it's just light and airy when you look at it and it swirls and sparkles and it's got pearls on it. I mean, come on. I was looking at this for several weeks and I couldn't take my eyes off of it. I try to wait before I buy anything because, you know, I have quite a full closet of things already. I don't want to get anything that I absolutely won't use all the time. So I force myself to have some patience and let the universe guide me. If the universe decides that someone else is gonna buy that item before me, it wasn't meant to be. But if the universe says it's still here, go get it, and I'm still in love with it after a few weeks, I'm getting it and I'm gonna use it. I already have some ideas of where I'm gonna wear it, so that is incredible. And just, why wouldn't I wanna wear it everywhere? It's celestial, it's magical, it's just, mm, I, it's, it's so precious to me. My precious. It's full on turning me into Gollum, like, come on. I'm going to experiment with different ways to wear it, but it's just pure perfection. Here's what it looks like in my hair. I absolutely love it. Also, I wanted to share the details on who I got it from on Depop, how much I paid for it, and what search terms you could use to find something similar for yourself. But seriously, look how whimsical it is. As of this upload, I've actually already worn it to my brother's wedding and it was exactly what I needed for the occasion. And next up, Next up, I've got this. This is a cute little wristlet purse, and I guess sort of, honestly, I think it's kind of like a, yeah, a wallet, too, which is pretty cool. It's in really good condition, and the best thing about it was that it was free. I acquired it from my mom's friend and actually several of these things came from her. It's honestly the best way to get thrifted items or secondhand items is to get them from your friends or your parents or your parents' friends or your friends' friends or just that random person that you know who like doesn't always keep their clothes and they're about your size and they are willing to get rid of some stuff 
and want to know if you want to try it first. Honestly, a good chunk of the clothes that I owned when I was younger came from my mom's friend's oldest daughter who was sort of changing up her look and wanted to get rid of her clothes and we shared the same first initials so even like initialed things that she had that looked like they were straight from a country club I could wear which did confuse some people sometimes when they were like oh you're rich huh and I was like what <laughs> I got this for free, so I don't know what you're talking about. But it's just a great way to acquire new things or to share your own things. That can really be the best and most sustainable option. So then the people that you know can enjoy your clothes when you no longer can. But anyway, about this, I just, I don't know. I am really, really in love with it. I think it's so pretty. The zipper works perfectly and it's even sort of quilted. If I have to go to an event or if I just want to have something that I can carry to look all fancy and, you know, still fit in with my wardrobe and a nice tasteful black, I it's just gonna be the perfect addition. Also, I really just like that it's a wristlet and not just a clutch because I hate clutches. They look super, super cute, but I'm always in danger of leaving them somewhere. And I'm just constantly doing what the name says and clutching them, which impedes my ability to have fun. A wristlet I can just swing around wildly and it's still with me. This is good stuff. It's quality. Yeah. Love it. I just can't get enough of the details of this little wristlet. It's just so pretty. The silver little baubles in between all the quilted lines add such a gorgeous touch. And everything about this screams quality. Which I guess makes sense because I looked up the brand Expressions NYC and they claim to be a vegan luxury brand. So I think that's pretty cool. I am just so happy to have this. I ended up wearing it to my brother's wedding as well and it was the perfect fit for all of my necessities. And another of these free acquisitions is this red stretchy adjustable belt. Honestly, I feel like I hit the jackpot with this one. It has elastic in it, which for me, I prefer. I've never been a fan of hard belts. I'm very particular on the feel of things and hard belts always made me feel like I was being strapped down or something. I just, I don't love it. But stretchy ones, they hug me in all the right ways. <laughs> And it's just super cute. And being adjustable means that probably all sorts of sizes could wear it, which was great because I could make it my size and I can also adjust it so that if I want it to be a waist belt, I can wear it up there. Or if I want it to be more around my hips, I can adjust it down there. It's just so versatile. And it was not in perfect condition when I got it. I think a dog might have gotten to it and bitten it up, but I just cut it into a little bit of a triangle point and it's perfect. Good as new. I'm honestly not a huge fan of the color red on me as the main color in an outfit, but as an accessory, I think this will take my wardrobe to brand new places. I think this will go perfectly with a lot of my black outfits because, you know, red will add that pop of color that I think will really, really spice up some things. So I'm excited to try it out. I think it's just, it's a look. It is definitely a look. belts were fully adjustable like this one. I could really 
could add this to just about any outfit and it would work perfectly. Look at what a difference that makes. I'm just so thrilled about all the possibilities. And next up, also from my mom's friend, I have this pair of shoes. So I've heard that apparently kitten heels are not in anymore, but I don't care what the trends say. I think these are cute. I'm gonna wear them. And kitten heels will come back in a couple of years anyway. There are only so many shoe types that we can have. <laughs> but I just, I love them. And again, will work perfectly with the black items in my wardrobe. I like the geometric sort of pattern on them and they fit perfectly, which is crazy. I was like, oh wow, you're my shoe size too? How lucky. <laughs> I mean, they're not in brand new condition, but I don't mind that. Shoes that are already broken in are sort of comfortable already, which is nice. I think that they're gorgeous and I cannot wait to put them to use. Well, here I go again trying to figure out a good way to show off these shoes. Ah, it is an uphill battle. I never get it right. This is not the first time I've had this issue, and it certainly won't be the last. I just love these shoes, though. Look how cute they are. And like I said, since they're already broken in, they're super comfy, too. And the next one is basically a haul all by itself. You'll see what I mean. Okay, whoa. All right, so I acquired these from Depop and I am just really excited about them. I'm gonna run out of fingers to hold all this. Ah! They are all barrettes of different shapes and I got them for an incredible deal so I'm super excited about it. I was you know really hoping for more hair accessories that's why I bought the other barrette and I just wanted something that felt witchy to me so I was looking for moon barrettes and then I found this whole package and I was like okay why not it's the same price for these as for individual ones from other sellers, of course I'm gonna buy these. Plus, there were some other cool items thrown in that I will probably share at a later date. But I just, I love them. They are so magical. Plus, I mean honestly, we've got a full moon and a crescent moon. I can wear them at the same time. And I can put them all over my head. <laughs> Maybe not all at once, but you know, it'd be a look. I'm just so happy about this. They are so cool. <laughs> and honestly, you know, if one doesn't go with an outfit, another one probably will. They're in both silver and gold in all three shapes. So I'll definitely be able to use them for a huge variety of different looks. I can't believe I just ran into such a jackpot and that no one else had bought them first. I'm just so impressed with the things that you can thrift. I always knew you could thrift clothes. I've been doing that since I was a young, young kid. But accessories? It just never even crossed my mind until recently. So these are just so wonderful. And I will be wearing them a ton. And yes, I just dropped one on the floor because honestly there's a whole lot of them and it's hard to hold them all in my hands at once because like, there's six. That's, it's more fingers than I have on one hand, not that I'm holding them on my fingers. I don't know why I said that. Anyway, these barrettes were such a find. I guess the seller was changing up her style and I came along at just the right moment. Oh my gosh, just imagine all the possibilities. I can't wait to try all the different combinations and styles that I can put together with these. I know I originally came for the moons, but honestly, circles and triangles, you can't go wrong. And I can wear different ones for different events. I think this is one of my best purchases ever on Depop. 
man. These accessories are just so magical and witchy and perfect for my wardrobe. I am so excited to put them to use. So, which one was your favorite? And have you ever thrifted any accessories like these? Tell me all about them in the comments below if you have. Also, if you enjoyed this video, I would really love it if you got a like, subscribe, and ring the bell for more videos like this about thrifting, sewing, crafting, and saving things, and sometimes growing plants, all with a witchy spin. I will be back pretty soon with a brand new video, so stay tuned. And remember, my celestial friends, save whatever whimsical accessories you can find, be kind to yourself and to the universe, and try to add a little bit of magic wherever possible to your corner of the world. Bye. I'm losing my voice, I think. I don't know what's happening. I think that's clear. <laughs> yeah, okay, bye.